Hey guys, that's Gibby here. So recently I've been asked quite a lot, how do I manage to stream with a low upload speed? Or, I have a high upload speed, but my stream just constantly buffers for my followers. Well, for those of you that don't know, Australia is currently ranked 50th in the world right now. So what are the average speeds? Well, according to testmy.net, Australia's average speed is 13.2 megabits download and 3.8 megabits upload. Let's compare these to Australia's neighbouring country, New Zealand which on average have a 17.7 .7 megabits download and 16.5 megabits upload. So, now back to those two questions. Well, let's answer the first one. How do I manage to stream with a low upload speed? Now, for those of you who don't really understand about upload and download and the differences, when it comes to streaming, upload is a thing that matters. So according to the Twitch help website, you need the following bitrate for the following upload speeds. So for 1080p, it's 3000 to 3500. 720, 18,000 to 2,500, 480p, 900 to 1,200, 360p, 600 to 800, 240p, up to 500. So those are the bitrate settings that they suggest you put in within OBS. Now this is all well and good, but when somebody's attempting to stream for the first time and they don't really understand what bitrate is and they follow this guide, it just ends up in you having issues and which why your stream looks poor and the quality becomes unwatchable. So what can you do to fix this when you only get under a meg speed? Well, let's look at the obvious first. Work in a wired connection. Wirelessly, I get 11.11 .11 meg download and 0 0.3 upload. But when I wire my PC to the router, I get 12.56 meg download and 0 0.82 upload. So there is a difference there. Help yourself out why are your PC? Biggest tip I can give you guys of the whole video. So let's get into it. So open up OBS and go into the settings. So first you've got your general, um, pretty much doesn't really matter. Just set your language to the language that you require. Um, and your next step now goes down to uh, encoding. Now encoding, you make sure that X264 is ticked. Um, this works closely with the CFR, which is your constant frame rates. Um, <coughs> and you want to use CBR. Now your max bitrate, you get this by 80% of your current upload speed. If your upload speed is 8 gig, 80% of that is what you pick. Uh, generally I stream at around 500 to 600. Um, it seems like the sweet number for me is 553. So I use that quite happily um, and that's the stream quality that the majority of you see when you, if you jump on my stream and check me out. Um, that is what you see. Um, <clears throat> enable for the padding for the CBR. And you're going to use a custom buffer size. Now, with the buffer size, this works really closely with the uh, X264, um, and it kind of just fixes stuff that's buffering through for people. Um, you know, if there's like a sudden scene change in high motion, it can fill up that buffer rate really fast. Um, so, what I do here is I've reduced it down. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it works and why it works better, but if I reduce my max bit rate, down um, not less than half or around half so if I'm on 600 I'll do 300 um, it just seems to make the whole stream a lot quicker and a lot easier um, there's not as much buffering for you guys watching it it's not as choppy and it just seems a lot better now one of the top tips that I can really advise when trying to stream on Twitch with a low upload speed is reduce your bitrate for audio ridiculously it's one thing people don't realize um, by default you set to 128 what that causes more upload you're uploading your audio at a high rate so I reduced mine down to 64 and as probably anybody who jumped on my stream they've never noticed any problems with the audio quality at all so 64 is the sweet number um, I probably wouldn't go any lower um, so yeah so you want 80% maybe a little bit less it doesn't really make a difference if we look back at the chart um, you know twitch recommend for a 240p up to 500 360p 600 to 800 so those are my settings um, I do change these around I switch them around quite a lot um, if I'm playing a first-person shooter that's got high you know it's really really graphic intensive and there's lots of movement um, I usually reduce it down to 500 exactly if I'm playing something as simple as Age of Empires or SimCity or something that's very simple um, not too much movement going on then I'll max this up to 700 maybe 800 um, depending on what my upload speed is because it's not ever changing so it's not trying to upload different things constantly it's pretty much the same uh, so you still get a good quality stream from that 
so we don't want to make any scenes. Um, broadcast. I'm not really going to explain how to get you onto Twitch and broadcasting. Um, if you're watching this video, you already know how to do it. You want to know how to improve your stream. Um, all you need is your key, which you find on Twitch itself. Make sure that you're picking the country that's closest to you. In my case, it's Sydney. Um, and sort your recording out if you want to record or use Shadowplay to record. It's completely up to you. Uh, but I'm not really going to go into that. So next tab we have is video. Now this is one thing that gets people every time. So you set your graphics card, you set your custom resolution, that's all perfectly fine. The thing that gets people is the downscaling resolution. Now if we revert back to the chart that Twitch on the website in the description explains to us, so for 240p bitrate you need up to 500 kilo, uh, bitrate upload speed. Yeah. So 240p we want to stream at because we can only hit 500 ourselves. The answer is your downscale and resolution. If you do not downscale your resolution, you're going at 720p, 1080p. So you're streaming at almost 2,000 bitrate, 2 meg upload. You don't have that. You're constantly going to buffer. Your cut stream is not going to work. It's just not worth it. So downscale down. 1.50 is the sweet spot. Anything less. You can try if you've got really bad at low speed, but if I was you, I would definitely try it at 1.50. Um, whatever your resolution will be set to, obviously it might be different to mine because mine's 1366 by 768, so that gives me a 910 by 512. Um, I have a feeling nobody in the streams ever actually noticed that my resolution is low. Um, it works for me and it does well. Um, another key tip is disable your arrow. So your arrow is your Windows interface system. If you disable that, it means you can just kind of have OBS open on your second screen for instance whilst you're playing the game and you can see the second screen rather than the other screen go completely blank and you can only see your game so that's a little little secret tip to add in there as far as frames per second I've downgraded mine um, I try and keep mine at a constant either 30, 24 or 30 again this depends on the game that you're playing so you're playing high intensive first person shooter push it down a little bit you know I understand everyone wants that crisp perfect 60 frames per second but if you're not uploading at a 1080p resolution at 3000, 3500, which is the maximum you can do in OBS, then it's not worth trying to do it at 60 frames. So, down to 24 frames, you've downscaled your resolution, you're around 240p, 360p, maybe you're lucky enough to get 480p. But keep your frames low, keep them maxed, maybe 30, 35. Let's not go over the top. You majority of us play games where, you know, we go into large areas and the frames drop anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference, in my opinion. Um, the audio we just blank over, I just leave it default, you just set what you're using, there's no big thing there. Um, hotkeys are the same, it's up to you what you do with those hotkeys. The next big thing you need to really look into is your um, advanced settings. So here in the advanced settings we have a few things set, uh, majority of you guys will have exactly the same stuff as I have already, it's not a big thing. Um, you just want to make sure you've got the same things ticked as I have. So normal. Uh, for priority class in multi-thread optimization, um, you want your X264 to be at its uh, very fast and your encoding set to main. You want to use your CFR. So what that means is OBS will force um, the output at a constant frame rate. Dropping frames is necessary to achieve it. So you will basically have your stream going through and what you'll see in your OBS settings when you're streaming, you'll have like a drop frame ratio and it might be 10%, it might be 7%. Um, and it just tells you how many frames have just been dropped. But it just makes your stream that little bit better. It just keeps it going, you know. It just keeps your stream working for people to watch. Because you're not worried about those drop frames. You know, stream's not trying to buffer itself to catch those frames back up. You're happy to let it just do its thing and look after it for itself. Um, now this C um, RF17... This was something that I put a long time ago and it was something I found out in the World Wide Web and I've tried over and over again to try and find where I got it from. Not really sure why or how this is in there, I don't really understand the meanings of it. Um, anything that you Google about the custom settings for these, it kind of says, you know, only do it if you understand what you're doing. I kind of followed somebody's guide and it, CRF equals 17 works for me, so check it out for yourself, try it, see if it makes any difference. Um, the other thing that I would recommend adding in is the low latency mode. Um, it minimizes your network impact so it says that you're working on a low streaming basically a low streaming basis so you get that ticked it doesn't do any you know it's not going to affect you in, in, in life anyway you'll be fine um, 
So I would definitely, you know, make sure that your audience is ticked. And then, then my OBS sense, you know, and that gives me, you know, the stream that we have today that you guys watch. So onto the question of those of you who have a good upload speed. Damn you guys who have good upload speeds. Well, your issue is you're streaming at a rate that is too high for your viewers to watch. Sounds crazy, right? Let me see if I can try and explain it to you. If you stream at 3 megabits upload, which is a 3000 bit rate, keep it in mind Twitch recommend a maximum and OBS of 3500 no more because you don't need it. Your stream will be absolutely fantastic. It will look perfect. You'll be doing it at 1080p. You won't downscale your resolution. You'll be streaming at the maximum you can do and still have room to spare for any issues that you might have. But the majority of people watching the stream, they might have poor internet speeds. So let's say you're streaming at three megabits a second, but the person who's watching you is only getting two megabits download. So you're then currently streaming at one megabit higher than the person who's viewing you can download your stream. So their stream buffers constantly because it just can't receive the information quick enough for you to, for you to send it to them, for them to watch you. So the answer for you guys with your great upload speeds, although I'd wish I was in that position right now, is lower your bitrate. A thousand upload speed, which is one meg, is more than enough than you need to stream. Set it to a thousand, set your buffer rate to a thousand. It doesn't make a difference for you. You can afford to put it up as high as you need to, but you need to be aware that your followers and your viewers don't have that luxury. The answer for you if you wanted to stream at your maximum 1080p uprate speed is you need to become a partner on Twitch. So for those of you who know, Twitch has the partnership scheme and everybody who's partnered, if you've ever noticed, you're able to click the little um, settings cog in the bottom corner. And when you click that, you get the video quality option and that is tickable for you. You can select that and you can pick low, high, medium and auto, which means that Twitch automatically checks what your speed is and make sure that the stream is coming down to you at your preferred rate of stream. So it will downgrade it automatically for you. So if they're uploading at 3 megabits or 3000 bit rate in OBS and you've got a low internet speed, you'll then get it at 1000 and it gives you that watchable quality. It downscales that quality for you. Um, I'll give you an example of what I mean. So this is the Running Man's feed, those of you who don't know. Fantastic streamer. I'm a huge fan. He is a Twitch partner. You can tell who a Twitch partner is because they have the subscribe button. Now if I go up to his stream and click on options compared to mine, I can pick my source quality. So if I've got a nice upload speed, I can change it to high and it will improve his stream quality for me. Um, this works on mobile phones, this works on tablets, this works on everything that you can get. And it picks up your stream and it improves it. Now if I'm struggling on high and it's buffering a lot, I can change the settings directly down to low. Uh, Twitch will automatically correct themselves for me and then they'll show me that stream. Um, so for you guys with the high upload speed, you really need to be aware of your viewers and your followers um, and you need to make sure that they can watch your streams as best as they can. Um, so I would strongly advise that you downgrade or downscale your upload speed down to at least 1000, 1500 tops um, just to help those followers be able to watch you. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, just to make you aware that these are my opinions and these are my experiences within OBS and playing with OBS. If you use an application such as XSplit, um, you can tweak and adapt what I've said in this video to work for you. You know, you can still change your frame rate. Um, yeah, there are different settings, but the idea of it is exactly the same no matter what software you're using. So let's just make sure that you're, you know, 80%, 70% of what your upload speed is. You make sure that your custom buffer for low upload speed people is a little bit lower maybe half 60% of what your bitrate frame is and for those guys who have a perfect upload speed just be thoughtful of your followers and the fact that they might have poor internet um, so yeah that's my best advice I can give you guys like I say I hope you find it really useful this video um, thank you all for watching please give this video a like if you found it helpful and it's helped you stream um, also please check me out on twitch uh, twitch.tv slash that skippy and su uh, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment and let me know um, how you found this video and if it's worked for you. Thank you very much guys. Cheers.